Hey guys, Jason here, Traditional Bowling Wilderness Podcast. Today we're going to teach you sharpness on a level that's unheard of. Okay, you can shave. I've done this already. I did it for the video earlier. Shaving is sharp and that's one thing and that's a good thing, don't get me wrong. But if you're ready to take them to the next level of sharpness, how do you know you got there? If all you're doing is keep shaving and it just keeps shaving, how do you know you're at that sharpness level that works? Is it pieces of paper? Is it that? There's so many methods out there. The one I found to be the best is the rubber band. Okay, because number one, the rubber band represents the arteries and the stuff that we're actually trying to, to shoot through. And so same, and it doesn't matter if you're doing it with your knife, okay? or if you are doing it with your broadhead, we want that level of sharpness. So there's a big difference. And I actually made a video on this a couple years ago. I'm gonna put it right in here in a second. You're gonna see it. Uh, Cause it shows you a, two of them that are shaving sharp, two knives, but one, you can see the difference. But this broadhead set up right here, and I'm gonna bring you in and show you a close up. But basically we are taking these, I use these cause I use them around my wallet. This is number, uh, number 64 rubber bands which like I said, I use around my wallet. It keeps it so I never lose my wallet. This creates friction in my pants and uh, it doesn't let my wallet come sliding out. So I keep three of them on there, plus they're always handy to have. So I keep those on there. So I always buy these, these number 64s are what I always get. But you take one of those rubber bands and you basically just cut it open, stretch it between your fingers. I'm gonna show you a close up of this too. Stretch it between your fingers, but as you move this uh, broad head down through there, every millimeter it goes, it should be cutting through that rubber band. Every little slide and speck that that head moves, it should be cutting, 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 cutting through. As you barely even, just barely move it, it should be cutting. Um, and that's what you're after, and that's the goal. I'll bring out, again, I'll do that as a close-up right here where you can see what I'm talking about. But that is the way that we can tell the difference. Um, I can feel and go, okay, that's sharp. Yeah, that's wicked sharp, and I know that. Um, and I can do that with knives, I can do that with that stuff, and I can go, yeah, that'll shave. And like I said, I'm running out of hair here from doing videos on this stuff, but I could shave that stuff off. All that stuff works fantastic, but this is next level. Okay, this is, this is achieved with stropping um, and denim stropping and that kind of stuff. But if you want the scariest, sharpest edges you can put on something that you're going to be able to do, this is how that's done. And the best way I found to test that is to use these rubber bands because you can literally see it. If it's, you'll, you'll see it in a video. I don't need to explain it to you. You will see it here in one second when we put it together for you. So it's a little tip for you. Every little speck of movement we have on there. Should see it cutting already, cutting into that edge. See it rolling up. As we push that, just almost pushing right through it. Look at that. That's how you know it's gonna be sharp. Different knives here. My Essie Azula that I carry with me every single day and I have my uh, my uh, Topps MSK 2.5. Now the difference is this knife being on me all the time, I keep razor sharp constantly and it's always is. I just pulled it out of my pocket, it is razor sharp. This one, still considered razor sharp, but I haven't been carrying it for a while, so it's been sitting in there um, and it's just not quite as sharp. Now both of these will still, as you can see here, if I put my arm there, you can see they will both still shave hair right off my arm. Um, you know, both of them are, are sharp enough to shave without fail. Um, this one obviously doing a little bit better, but both of them are what we would consider shaving sharp. So if I take that and I spread it right between my fingers and I start to pull that knife down through there, you can see that it does eventually start to cut and cuts through it. Okay, that's telling me that that is a sharp knife right there. You know, I mean, it's letting me know that as I go through that, it is actually cutting that rubber band. You can see it here as it goes. It's cutting, but it's not cutting as good as you would hope it would, but it does cut. Now, this one, which is definitely sharper, this is Ula. When I hit that on there, every little speck of an inch that I move, it is cutting. Every little smidge, it's cutting. 
there's there's the big difference. That's how you can tell. Because these this rubber band represents the arteries and the tissue and the stuff that we go through with broadheads and the things we have to deal with. And it's a great test, better than shaving. But I put that on there. Every little smidge that I move that blade, it is cutting. You can see it is just cutting through everywhere. I, every little millimeter I move that blade, it cuts just goes right through it like nothing where this one which was still shaving sharp i have to fight and get it to pull and it starts to cut through so that kind of goes to show you that's your simple rubber band test it makes a huge difference it is by far the best system that i found to actually tell if a knife especially your broadheads is as sharp as you want as you can see, every little millimeter I move that, it is cutting through there. That is a sharp knife. Again, this one's still sharp enough to shave with. Uh, and it does take hair off. It's not really, it's not super, super sharp, but it is razor sharp, sharp enough to shave with. This one, this is what we qualify as scary, scary sharp. That's the difference. It's the rubber band test uh, that will do it. As you can see, it doesn't take much. Grab a rubber band, spread it between your fingers like that so that you can see it. And as you move that blade, every little speck you move that, it should be cutting right through that rubber band on there. So a uh, short little video for you just to kind of show you that test and how it works. Uh, try it. See the difference. You'll see, especially when you're doing your broadheads. You can run one side, run the other side. You'll see if it's actually just shaving sharp or if it's scary, scary sharp. So, but it is the best method I have found to be able to make these things sharp on a level that is almost unperceivable, just wicked, wicked, wicked sharp. Um, and remember, with broadheads, we're dealing with, with thicker blades, things like that. You got different angles on them. You got all sorts of things. But when you can get them to do that or a knife to do this with a rubber band, where once you get that started, you know, sometimes breaking through the edge of that can be a little tricky because you're stretched between your fingers and it kind of rolls a little bit. But once that breaks through that edge, just a smidge, every single little movement of that blade should be cutting it. You should almost be able to push right through it, which we're going to show you here right now. I'll show you a close-up of it, and then we will also show you this video. Thanks for watching.